Okay, here we go. It's a little difficult to see precisely what I'm filming here because of the glare. Just decided to give you an idea of how you keep the camp open during the winter. The main thing is to keep the push-offs wide, as you can see. You want to try to plow on ground that's either level or actually slightly uphill if possible. Once that momentum shifts down, that's when you can lose it. As you can see, we haven't plowed on this side. I've seen it done, but the terrain dips more here. So, we tend to go for here. And, at every interval, we just pile up a bunch of snow. Very simple. It's been easy this year because it's been so cold, so the snow's been light and fluffy, easy to push around. Not like that heavy, wet stuff. You tend to get bogged down. The kind of stuff you really dread. Just got a nice fresh snowfall yesterday. So I'm um, using the energy I have left to make this video. Really should be wider down here at the bottom than it is. This is not as well done as it should be, but we got some space on this side, so we're okay. Usually if you make it down to the bottom here you're gonna you're gonna make it. Chances are you won't get bogged down unless it's really heavy and wet. Now the trick in here is to use as many little push-offs as you can, pile it up in as many places as you can. Leave yourself options. Originally a lot of these push-offs had signs saying they were push-offs. I believe you saw that in the spring video. Uh, a lot of those signs are blown away. Also, some of the push-offs we've discovered to be not that apt for use as push-offs. For instance, along here, we cleared this out, got rid of the wood, figuring to use it as a nice push-off. But what happens is, the terrain falls off a little bit and you can get caught in the rut so it really can't be used as a push off same thing same thing over here there's ruts if you go down in there all you need is one tire to get stuck on a piece of frozen mud or ice and you got a problem and don't hold your breath for AAA to get here too quickly when it's snowing and you can expect even less that they'll be happy about it. So the push-offs that were designed as push-offs, you can see one right there, I don't know, you can see another one right here we wound up not using them because of the tilt of the land that goes off the road the angle off the road now you can't get bogged down here going over the top you don't have much options there is a push over there if you no well, you could use it usually we would just take a run down to the bottom and of course as far as getting in and out it's those there inclines that you worry about the most and we 
depending on how wide your plow is. You might need two passes up and down this road. Usually you do. To really clear it. And there's one. And there's the other. This is a treacherous little pass in the winter. The, I don't know if you can capture it with the camera, but the land seems to tilt a little bit, which means that your vehicle will tilt a little bit. If you take it slow, basically, you'll be okay. And again, you just want to use every angle you have. Push it slowly up all against that wall. Got some of the batteries buried under there along with some fuel tanks. Gotta dig this lane, keep the exhaust to the heat open. You get better with practice. Same as anything else. And we got another little lane down here to get access to the generator. And that's it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you it's as easy as it looks. It can be very difficult. It's just that we've had the right weather. It's made it easier this year. Now they say we got some mixed precipitation coming up. Which you could do without. And on the way back up, you also want to take the opportunity to try to widen it out, widen out the landing. Even here you got some ruts. And push that way. Get everything over and that other way. Should have given this area a push too. Heading back up and it's just one little angle that should have been noted on the way down actually and it's worth pointing out and it's all a matter of strategy and learning by experience. You'll notice on this side, we really don't have too many push-offs. And that's the same reason you don't have it up on the, on the hill outside there. Because the land slopes off here. And this is where you, you, the, the weight of the truck is going to shift forward and you can get stuck. Here, the land is either level or on a slight incline. So it's easy to, if you get stuck, it's easy to back out. So you're using, if you notice, you're using a lot of, let's see if you can get a, a pan on this, you're using a lot of, a lot of area on this side. Also, the trees are set back a little further from the road, that helps. I don't know how well this is going to come out since the glare is re reflecting me into the lens and not what I'm filming and again it's the same thing this is technically a push-off but you got ruts on the way back up on either side again you want to take an opportunity to widen it out give it a push up here should probably push this even further 